Welcome to another edition of Sound Off with Groff. In this edition, we're going to talk about guns. Here's a story. A New Hampshire man who fired his handgun into the ground to scare off an alleged burglar he caught crawling out of his neighbor's window is now facing a felony charge and the same potential prison sentence as the burglar he caught. Now, first of all, I don't own a gun. I'm not a big hunter. Don't particularly like guns. Don't have any plans of buying a gun. I'm not a member of NRA or anything else like that. However, a rational person would realize there's something wrong here. Here's what happened. Dennis Fleming, 61-year-old of Farmington, New Hampshire, was arrested for reckless conduct after the incident at his 19th century farmhouse. The single grandfather had returned home to find his home had been burglarized, and he spotted the uh, burglar, Joseph Bear. 27 year old climbing out of a window of his neighbor's house. Fleming said he yelled freeze before firing his gun into the ground and then he held a bear at gunpoint until the police arrived. He said he didn't think he could handle the guy physically, he was half his age, so he fired into the dirt. No one was injured in the incident, but when the police arrived, they made two arrests. A bear, the burglar, was charged with two counts of burglary and drug possession. He faces up to seven years in prison if convicted. Just seven years for breaking into two houses, at least. Fleming, meanwhile, is scheduled to be arraigned on uh, March 20th on a charge of reckless conduct, which could potentially land him a sentence similar to the one uh, Bear faces. Now, the 61-year-old has a clean record. He has 14 grandchildren. I realize this is the law, the law, don't you hate it when people do that? But we need some common sense here and to do the right thing. There's no word if charges will be pressed yet. The case is still being reviewed to determine if he follows state statutes regarding self-defense and defense of property. I can tell you one thing. I would probably do the same thing. If you saw the guy crawling out of your neighbor's house, your house had been burglarized, he actually showed pretty good restraint, firing into the ground. Penny Dean, a spokeswoman for the Gun Owners of New Hampshire, said her organization is absolutely outraged by Fleming's arrest, which is to be expected. They're the Gun Owners of New Hampshire. They're going to be outraged. She said this homeowner fired at the ground and from all accounts in a safe direction and held the burglar for police and did things correctly. The fact is that this man would be charged is an outrage. Burglars in New Hampshire must know it's open season since homeowners cannot defend themselves as evidence in this case. This is charging the victim. Well, I don't know if that's in a burglar's mind if they think back, oh, there was a court case where a guy pulled out a gun. I, I don't know if the burglars are thinking. They're not thinking rational in the first place. The fact is, you can't be afraid to defend your property. In fact, I don't even look at it as defending it. And He didn't fire at the guy. He didn't shoot the guy. He let off a warning shot in the ground. Bullet was not going to go anywhere. You see if he'd fired in the air, maybe. I don't even know about then, but at least uh, they'd have a little bit of a case then. Ricky Pelkey, Fleming's longtime neighbor, said he is now worried about the straightforward working class guy. Talking about uh, his neighbor that saved his house from being burglarized. How he's going to pay his legal fees associated with the arrest. He said, this is outrageous. He did the community a service. We ought to be thanking him, not arresting him. Well, that's about, says it as best as I could. We need to stop punishing the uh, victims here. This is ridiculous. We're seeing more and more crime all around the area. And if you can't defend yourself, defend your property, we're in a world of hurt. So I hope this works out for uh, Mr. Fleming uh, from New Hampshire, and I hope uh, 
the DA does the right thing and decides to not press charges. This has been another edition of Sound Off with Groff.